Good. Fine, what's good today? Good. You feel like the Muhammad Ali of this sport? <laughs> I don't know how he felt, so I can't really say. Any reaction and response I have from my mother, she's going to hear from me and not immediately. Did she hear it from you? Have you spoken to her about it? I really don't think that's anybody's business. You want to talk about the magazine covers you've been on lately? The Ring, you made history. Uh, <laughs> Well, yeah, I, <laughs> I made history. I think I made a lot of people happy and a lot of people angry at the same time. But, um, you know, it's still it's still an honor to be a, the first MMA fighter on the cover of such a historic magazine. And, you know, I, I only wanted to, to be on it because of all the respect I do have for the sport. And um, I do want to, you know, be a, a positive to it in, in some way because it's it's been such a positive in my life. And... Um, well, we'll we'll see. You know, we'll see how I'm I'm received. Really, kind of trying to to get into that crowd a little bit. But um, you know, I've really fallen in love with boxing in the process of doing MMA. I like I stopped doing judo at all. I haven't put a gi on and done any judo since I started doing MMA. I do boxing almost all the time, and um, it'd be impossible to be spend so much time on something and not fall in love with it in a way. And um, yeah, I want to be. I don't want to be more involved in the sport. It's not really too. Mm -hmm. It's very difficult right now, but we'll see what I can do. Uh, I mean, every fight's different. I think um, more more of the distractions aren't coming from the fight itself, but you know, from the whole world. But um, there's been fights where it's been like that before. This one kind of reminds me a lot of like. I don't know. I mean, I, I've had similar situations like this before where, you know, I feel like I'm getting pulled in a million directions at once and I'm trying to stay centered on the one thing and just the fight. Whereas I think the, the, the Betch fight, it was like all of, my, all of my attention was being pulled towards the fight, but all the stuff that didn't have to do with the fight itself. And so, um, I don't know. It's... it's um, Every single one gives me a new opportunity to really kind of practice in a new way to keep my focus. You know what it is? I, I don't feel it until right after I win because I feel like it's all in peril right now. And until I beat Holly, I can't revel in anything. You know, I have to beat Holly first and then like I have that moment where like I finally get away from everybody and I have to go like take a shower and it's like my first time alone and like I just like looking in the mirror, I'm like, what the hell did you just do today? Like, what happened? Like, that every single fight, I remember the last fight after, like, you know, everything was bitch and she knocks out and everyone goes, wow, then, like, you know, it's Brazil, but they're still cheering for me and everything's crazy. And then, like, I finally get, you know, and same thing after the Zingano fight. Like, I just get to that moment where I'm like, I just look myself in the mirror. You know, sometimes you look at yourself in the mirror, you don't really look, but I, like, really look, and I'm like, what are you doing? Like, how did, what, like, what are you getting yourself into? Like, how did that just happen today? And then it's so quiet. It's so quiet that, like, your ears ring, and it just makes you, like, it's hard to absorb all of it. Like, but that's, like, the one moment where, like, I really kind of, like, Jesus Christ, like, what are you, what, how did you get here? And, um, but it's a happy moment, too, you know? It's, like, overwhelming happiness, and I, I can't afford to feel that every day. I always try to get more involved all the time, and um, um, my favorite project right now is um, with Gompers Middle School in Watts, and it's now like the, the longest running after school program um, that's ever been at the school. And um, I started I started teaching it for free after the last Olympics. My sister was, um, she was studying to get her master's there um, under Mr. Gonzalez, and she brought me in as like, she was teaching history, and so she, brought me in for a lecture she had on Bushido martial arts and um, I was like picking her up over my shoulder and all the kids were really into it so I started um, doing after school judo program for them on Fridays and um, then my mom ended up taking it over um, after MMA Billy became too much and now like we have fundraisers for them we like send them around the tournaments and we've had a lot of people that are nice enough to donate mats now they have like their own like judo room like they have their own dojo in the school and they every single kid has like brand new geese and um, it's, it's really amazing to really see how the programs progressed and a lot of the kids have ended up um, going on to like, you know, really prestigious high schools and they still come back 
um, even after they've graduated from middle school and um, still train with us. And um, it's just really, it's, it's real privilege to see these kids like over the years and how they do and how judo really benefits their life in a positive way.